let me go forward so software is something designed and developed live that means it it may have bugs it may have problems so what they design and develop is for requirements right like like i said yesterday there could be some re, uh, customer requirements and that will be given by business analyst or product owner and developer will design it and develop it right uh, so after developing they will do a uh, developers also do a also do testing right because they developed it but they don't but they do uh, you know testing called like unit testing and they also cover some functional testing but it is not uh, possible for them to cover end-to-end -end test okay which is been you know end-to-end -end testing is taken care by again our software testers right any questions on this statement we have a software which has to be developed and designed and developed by developers for the particular requirements and developer will start testing after he designed and developed it to ensure that it is really working or not for the particular functionality right example uh, see uh, there should be a form right uh, like uh, a form should be there uh, in the web ui website for example okay so once it is developed right uh, let me try to get one form I'm just trying to get you one form. Uh, see, if you ask uh, if the developer is done but what they will do is this is an email right what they will do is okay xyz at the rate is email.com this is well uh, will be done and they will also take photo i don't want to take it let me try it otherwise or use another template let me use this So there is a requirement given by product owner or a business analyst to uh, you know to our uh, developers. What they do is they design a form like this, right? There's a design a form like this with all these fields, and they will give a next next button, right? That is a requirement, for example, right? So they designed it. Now when it comes to developer or any 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 of us, right? What we will do, uh, we will first do it okay title of this project just i'm testing it right and then name you give something like uh, kumar and arun and address uh, some something like that right xyz street is side of ad and state is yes and you give something like well, like 7065 something like that phone number you give something like this and email email dot at the rate gmail.com and created by again xyz okay so this is the test right this is the test that we do we click on next and you get you uh, know some more fields which is which is expected testing right this is how anyone will test and even developer will also do the same kind of testing which is a positive testing this is how the positive business use case will run right if i ask you to do some testing on this form what any suggestions from your one of you 
how do you test this or let me do it right so for example if i ask to do the testing definitely first test is i will go positive like this and i will go next and then i will give some problem and solve it something like that and uh, and i will go with the states and i will submit it yeah. did anyone notice the issue on this that i just yeah test cases yeah valid testing and valid testing negative positive testing that we will do and we will go to that concept i'm just giving you introduction here so i did this testing but when i click on next there is expected complete date that i gave like 26 06 19 you know something like 1955 was is it a, is it a valid date can i complete the this task at this date can i cannot right because it's a past date there should be a validation to this date that hey it should be it should be greater than today's date isn't it hope uh, hope you are all getting me right so that kind of validations you need to identify now he, there is a bug here if i click on submit with this date uh, it is doing nothing it is just submitting which is again okay that's a problem likely many things are there right uh, like, that is one of the test cases that we need to write for field validations and another one is uh, field length size right uh, example i'm just giving uh, this text forever ever but it is not throwing an error right it is taking n uh, whatever i want to give right which is which is not a ideal case will the title will be that much no right there should be limitations for that right so it is taking like anything right that is uh, we need to ask for limitations if it is not given by product owner hey what is the limit for title is it 50 characters 100 characters 150 characters or it is a paragraph right we need to ask all these details so while we get requirements itself our testing will start while right we need to write a test case out of that requirements so our testing will be started when you got requirement itself from the ba he said hey there is a title or research project proposal box and they haven't mentioned that it should be length of 50 or 100 then you need to ask your po hey what is the length of that what, how, how much it should accept the data right that you need to have have a question that kind of questions has to be raised while you are you know analyzing your requirements likely name how much length it is taking it is taking huge will it be realistic case first name last name together may not reach more than 50 right 50 characters likely address uh, or sometimes we give special characters in address it should accept right uh, that kind of testing we have to do see there is a there is a, a concept of doing uh, positive cases negative cases and monkey testing we'll we'll learn this but these are all will not be done by developers that's where software testing made as importance to ensure that whatever data that you give it if your system should validate and also handle it it should not crash it right if it is for example if i gave this data if i submit it if it is crashing like anything because it is uh, you know it is uh, it is not able to handle the back end that's a problem right that's a problem uh, for anyone if you release that in the production if someone found that kind of problems that's a bad bad to a particular product right that's where you need to do business testing which is a positive testing negative testing and boundary value analysis testing that we call them as and there is in uh, one more testing called uh, monkey testing which we do like anything like just now i did that right and field level validation when you do a positive testing or negative testing field level validation has to be done 
right these these are all comes under the software testing i'm just giving you an introduction however each concept that i just discussed will be having a, a further concept you know detail uh, of each other each, each of that concept but just giving what is importance of software testing okay any questions so far basically you will ensure that whatever requirements are there if the product is working or software is working as per the particular requirement and there are no defects when i said defects currently we identified a defect called this date is taking uh see it is a submission date submission date means it could be today or yesterday or something like that but not like uh, 2012 2024 no oh, sorry it should not accept this because i don't submit i'm not submitting this form on the particular date i'm it's a it's a it's a uh, next year date right it's not current date so it could be one week back or today but not like 10 years back or 10 years after right or one year after also one day after also right so that kind of validations that is a defect i mean that those are the defects for us right so that kind of validations has to be happen at the field level this is a field and we need to validate that right so that kind of validation has to happen that is what software testing again i'm repeating software testing it is to ensure we give quality to the software that we develop how do you quality as per the requirement document our bible is always requirement open document we may ask we may have some suggestion out of that but it has to be documented in requirement then only everyone will be following right as per the requirement document and also system should be when i say system software okay should be defect free when we say defect free right uh, there are two aspects here one is definitely it should work as per the requirement then it is a good product if it is not working as per requirement that's a defect when i say defect it's not working as a requirement and there is another deficient definition or uh, extension to defects are one is definitely if it is not working as per requirement is a defect sometimes the requirement may say that hey this is a text field and it should allow uh, alpha numeric and special characters right you will test as per that but if it is not providing any length right that is also comes under testing that you need to check how much length it is taking right because what happens is example right uh, every software will have a two three layers we'll discuss about this in the later but just have a definition on this one is ui layer that is whatever you're seeing the web ui and another one is server layer which is called logical layer business logic layer and another one of the 3ds third one is db see for example you have a form right that like i just shown you in the ui right if you have form that you are submitting in the ui what it will do is it will go to logical layer it will check all the fields that you gave in the form when i say form i mean this form okay this is one of the form right so it will check all the business rules when i say business rules uh so each each field will have a business rule it may uh, need to get only characters but not special characters in this title so these are all business rules that means it will validate whether a particular string has a uh, special characters are like that right so thus that will be validated at logical layer along with ui layer by the way and finally the data will go to db right so the data will be stored at db Right. I hope everyone is aware of this, but it will be stored here, right? For example, if you are a form is allowing a name field, for example, it is allowing like 100 characters, okay? And okay, that's why it allowed from UI and server layer or logical layer also allowed 100 characters. But while storing in DB, if particular name 
length in the DB, I mean, DB will also have a length for each uh, field, each column, I would say. If it is allowing only 50 characters, right? Then when you save this particular data, it will throw a blunder error, right? That is, DB will say that, hey, I cannot do that. You're, you're, you gave 100 characters, but I have only limit of 50 characters for the particular field. So I cannot do it. It will throw error. Definitely, it will go to logical layer. Logical layer will say the UI layer that, hey, you cannot, you know, if you didn't handle it, it well uh, in the logical layer or UI layer, the code is not written to handle, right? It is not, uh, if it is not handled well, then what it will do is it will give a blunder error, that 500 error or something DB is lost, something like that. You know, it is not user friendly error, which will be given in the UI, but user doesn't understand. Always think, think through user, he is a layman. He is he don't have a knowledge of software, right? Uh, we need to think on his shoes that any error that you're showing in the UI should be understandable to the all the users who is non-technical people, which is now I'm coming back to this, uh, right? Defect free, right? Why we said defect free? Because name is uh, as per the requirement, it should be name and it should allow the characters but they may not say that it should allow only 50 characters like that because that's a technical thing sometimes, right? You need to test it and ensure that there is no defect at that point in integration testing. While integrating, and I say integration, UI to DB or server layer to DB. So there should not be any issues, such issues, you uh, know, in the software. software. If you have such issues, right, user, will easily caught it and our software will have a band name in the industry, right? Got it? What is defect free? Any questions, please? I will pause here. See, I'm not going by definitions, guys. That I'm just trying to give a realistic answer, I mean, realistic uh, part so that you'll understand what is software testing. <clears throat> please ask questions. If you're not understanding, I will repeat this back. Okay, let me go forward, right? Okay, so, uh, I think yesterday we covered a small aspect called why we needed testing, right? Needs of testing. Anyone, I, mean, I already said yesterday that uh, this is a, one of the uh, you know problem that we had. Needs of testing. Any questions or any suggestions why we need testing? why we need testing uh, just now we discussed also but why it is made so important yeah improve software quality which is good to error uh, to find errors or bugs good and defect free product to the customers very good true bug free product very good Baskar, you're right there is one more point that we all missing, right? So if you have bugs, right? Think through, see, I just showed you some form. It is it is okay. If you have a bugs in this, what, what will happen? Like you all said, a client will come back and say that, you know, hey, this form is worst. I am not accepting this. That is okay. At least we got some feedback. But few few areas where software bugs are very expensive and dangerous, right? Example, like I said, there could be a loss of human. We will, you know, there could be a blast there. There could be a problems there. Like in 2015 or so, I think, you know, uh, there is a terminal uh, in London, and because of the software glitch there was a financial market trade lost around you know it is like three trillion or so three million or something 300 million transactions were gone and pro government you know postponed that particular uh, sale because of the problem this problem that is a huge 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 loss right for the, all the people who came for the trade right and one more such example is uh, like uh, in the recent time, right? You are aware of a Nissan car, right? Nissan car, 
uh, you know Nissan car had a defect in the in their uh, uh, car with airbags airbag sensors right when that was that was a that was caused many people to die because the airbags are not coming out when the when the accident is made so that is a huge failure right so they recall all those cars back and they paid a huge amount again it's a sensor which is again runs under the software right and nissan lost it and people lost their lives because of this bug right so that is a need of testing software testing is not a job guys sometimes it depends upon the project that you do right uh, if you are working on a financial area, so if you if there are bugs leaked on that area, that could be a huge loss to business as well as the people who who are relied on that particular system, right? Also, if you are working like cars, like as just Nissan car, right? If it has a bug, right? It got a bug. Airbags was not a uh, you know, opening when the when an accident is happened. So so lives are in dangerous. So. So you should be very responsible. Software testing is nothing is also mean mean by responsibility to you, right? You have to be very responsible while you're testing something or while you're taking taking charge of doing software testing. Um, however, everyone everyone in the team is responsible, but since you are the gatekeeper, with your sign off only, the production will be deployed, right? So you should be very cautious and very responsible when it comes to the you know financial products or something uh, human uh, life intervention are there like like i said cars or airplanes softwares like that and you know this kind of things uh, you know likely china airlines airbus crashed due to software bugs in 1994 as i said earlier yesterday right so likely there are many examples to it it's not one example uh, see early 2000s that was in there is no testing that's where the bugs are identified but since today also we are identifying bugs in the production means there is a there is a small glitch there right we should be very responsible in testing the product that we are developing in the industry any questions on this so i want you all to be very responsible while you while, while you're starting this career right don't take this as a, your job uh, sometimes you need to be very responsible if it involves the human lives okay while you if you are working in the product like you know, human lives are involved you have to be very responsible on that okay any questions please okay uh, so we covered uh, software testing and importance of software testing so far and roles and responsibilities right so our role is uh, like i said we should be very responsible again and uh, our major role is to you know role is software testing and responsibility is first responsibility is defect free product and also see to do all this defect free product uh, what you need to do you need to follow a process follow a testing process or testing life cycle i would say so we will talk about this test process and testing life cycle in the further classes i'm just giving you an overview right uh yeah see uh, that is uh, baskar you made a good point that attend to daily stand-up meetings that will come under the process and agile process yeah we'll talk about that as well in the later classes but in the nutshell you have to be very responsible in writing the test cases and and executing the test cases when you got that product and ensuring that there is no defects that is leaked out of you uh, so that it will go it will be slip race to production right so these are the major responsibilities that you need to take care while you do testing and there are multiple kinds of testing that you need to do which we will take later part but those all will be you know you need to apply while you're testing a single requirement also like 
functional testing sometimes you know to involve with non-functional testing and you know to write automation for that particular functional testing right these are all responsibilities so you know it's today say functional testing functional testing and you know to do sometimes uh, not sometimes nowadays it's mandated automation and non-functional testing these are all different kinds of testing that we need to ensure but don't worry you don't need to do at the day one in your career first and foremost is important is functional testing that is what uh, we wanted to do right so to do this functional testing definitely you need to understand the business use cases or requirements right like i said yesterday so first thing you need to do is to do a functional testing you need to understand the business whenever someone come to you like ba said that hey this is what the project that we are doing first understand the business right because that is what you are going to develop understand the business come up with the questions come up with the questions to ba and adopt those adopt the requirements right and i mean that means you need to be very thorough with the requirements okay they are for example i'm saying okay uh, one of the bank is going to develop a application so what what will be the bank business so they want to do account summary they want to do uh, transactions from between two accounts uh, from the same bank and they want to transfer it they want to credit the amount and they want to do uh, payments from the bank account and they want to you know that is the functionalities and these are the few functionalities of the bank account so you need to adopt it you need to understand and adopt that particular functionality that is the first and foremost responsibility of anyone then you need to come up with the test cases right to write the test cases when i said test cases we'll talk about this in detail so you need to write the test cases what is the test cases means see uh, for example if i ask you to Hey, I will I, I will give a pen and ask you to test the pen. What do you do? You you first of list out the items that you want to test, right? Like okay, I will write this pen in the in the particular you know direction and the particular environment, and uh, I will write this in the white paper or different kind of papers. Like you list out those items, right? What you want to test, okay? Those uh, those you need to list out in the test cases there is a test case techniques we talk about that but test cases are very important on our day-to-day -day activities so that we'll test those cases to ensure we give a right quality to the product right and we also need to raise a box if you have any defects and explain the bugs sometimes explain the bugs to the team or developers ensure bugs are fixed or prioritized and finally do a regression uh, actually retest and regression will be there retest and regression will be carried and finally sign off and then broad uat test will be there Prod deployment. <sighs> okay, now I will go in detail, right? You will write test cases as I said, and you will execute the test cases uh, when it comes to you. For example, developer said that, hey, I, I developed this form, now do a testing. So before it comes to you, you'll also have a requirements, right? So you'll write the test case out of the requirements like a like 100 or 200 test cases whatever is feasible based on the test case techniques you'll write it now you got this form what you will do is okay i will open the test cases like one by one i will execute the test cases and if i feel anything is not working as per my expectation right so test case will i also have expert result right uh, so as per my expectation if something is not working I will raise that as a bug okay this is not as per my expectation so if this is not working as expected to the system 
so i will raise a bug and i will ex explain that bug to the particular developer and i'll also assign that bug to him so if you may have a question that hey where do you raise these bugs there will be tools to raise the bugs like ado or jira <clears throat> like that so we will we will open a ticket to them and we'll assign the ticket to them and they will fix it right you don't stop your testing while they are fixing you'll you'll continue with the remaining test cases uh, and you'll fix that but when we got a fix of the particular bug you will retest that particular bug again like re-execute the same test case and ensure that it is a fix then you will close that particular bug and you also do a regress around that right when i say regress right for example uh, if this title is allowing more than 100 characters if 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 it is bug is fixed it is allowing like 150 now it uh, now they said it is fixed then you will say uh, you will keep 100 characters again and it will it should be fixed right it should not allow more than 150 characters but earlier it was not allowing special characters right now after the fix it may allow right you don't know maybe that fix may impact so you need to test the regress around cases like different cases on the same field and ensure that it is fixed then only close that particular defect right that is a small regression around the particular bug we'll talk about regression more but just i'm giving a heads up on that and ensure it is fixed and do a regression and retest around that and finally execute all the test cases and complete the test case execution of that particular form and then if you feel there is no other bugs other than that then you say that hey execute the test cases i'm good with this form you can deploy this into the production then what will happen is okay they will go forward and the testing environment you know the environment that you tested when i say environment right will have a different environments in the system like dev qa and uat and production that is production is what clients use us and you know uh, you qa is what you use to test it and dev is what they developed that and uat is nothing but user acceptance test what is user acceptance test is uh, you once you'd say that hey test as a tester i said i'm good with this so user means here the real client also do the testing right that is called user acceptance test they will do the same test i mean they don't do uh, uh, as extensive as you like positive negative and all blah 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 they do a business use case testing there that is this form is working for them their business or not right they will do the testing if that is working as per their expectations right then they will give also sign up then it will go to the production that is what the responsibility that we need to take before we go to the production that means these are all our responsibility we'll talk more uh, detail about our responsibility furthermore like how to design the test cases how to ensure that we raise bugs how to raise the bugs how to do the debuggings uh, sometimes you need to do root cause analysis right uh, those are all need to be there okay uh, any questions i i think i covered uh, a good portion of understanding let's see uh, the responsibilities so any questions so far are we going to use any tools by asad yet sorry i i started delayed uh, because being in traffic i uh, got this so late i got this message can you just uh, elaborate the, like briefly the what was like in a short if you can tell me what was happened uh, in the previous one are we going to use any tool in this uh, learning of any tool happened? of something what was happened you i will just give this notes into the telegram channel yeah. so that you okay to, uh, definitely for functional testing we need uh, tools like zira right you know to understand how the requirements will come how the stories will come how you know to re, you know test there how to okay. raise the work, right? so we will go with okay. open source tool called zira uh, for some extent yeah okay and are we going to learn selenium kind of thing also here or okay i'm sorry yeah yeah okay yeah yeah coming to automation right that's not covered under this course content yeah, like yeah. we'll cover that next in the next yeah. okay okay is manual testing enough to get job or you needs to go for automation testing also uh see 
that depends right you see if you if you if you ask me uh, i don't uh, i don't say we don't get jobs see there is a market for manual testing as well but when it comes to, to automation and manual uh, the market or uh, jobs are less right you should have a tools otherwise uh, the you will not be into the larger scope so once you, but without manual testing and only automation testing uh, you will not get uh, market again so the combination of both of them are important than having only one of them even if you have manual testing there is a scope of getting a job but if you have only automation testing and doesn't have an understanding of manual testing nowadays earlier it used to have a jobs nowadays uh, it is complicated to get the jobs because people uh, or companies are expecting the person who has both manual and automation example i am recruiting the people right? I, I, I will take the people who has both the knowledge i don't take the people who has only manual or who has only uh, automation like selenium right uh, selenium okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, yes yes and what about api testing that's what right automation comes under api testing as well and when it comes to manually you want to do api testing uh, that postman is one of the tool that you can leverage it right but this course i don't know whether i incorporated that here if this course has it definitely we'll talk about that i don't think we incorporated the api testing here no okay so that we cover some as part of automation okay so api testing is uh, yeah that's a good question who asked this i don't know but api testing is one of the uh, trending one because of the uh, because of the nature of application deployments nowadays uh, earlier it was a monolithic deployments now everyone is going to microservice i don't want to go detail because you'll get confused few other people will get confused i will i will give this session while we go for the live project right uh, but yeah api testing is also important as as automation testing so uh, definitely you do automation with the apis only not only ui right you also need to do api automation so there where it is very important okay thank you uh someone has a question d uh, sir testing has a scope in the future yeah definitely testing has a big scope i know or oh, you know you may heard about ai tools or you know some tools like that which will leverage development part but after doing the development a testing has to be done i believe more of testing will be uh, testing jobs will not be impacted with the ai more however automation may impact uh, for some extent but we need more testers than uh, robot testers right or human tests so uh, i believe testing will have a more scope in the future testing and product owners and bas uh, along with ai development teams will have a more scope that's what i predict uh, i believe that is what are happening going to happen okay any further questions we'll take five more minutes for questions and we'll close this session today and tomorrow we are going to cover principles and uh, how how much testing is enough and quality difference between manual and automation which is a very important topic so we'll cover this and we'll go forward and if possible i'll also cover module 2 there is a requirement i mean this sdlc phase right i yeah, i will try to give a nutshell about sdlc but sdlc itself a very important concept and we will we want to take one day for that uh yeah any further questions guys uh when mass hiring starts uh, okay 2023 human freshers right so so that depends upon the company requirement right so, so as, if i'm not wrong right the budget will be allocated in, in from june to july so after july they may take one more month for you know planning and all maybe august like that generally you will get you will used to see uh, more requirements after july or august because generally the budgets how the budget runs in the software industry or any company right june to july is what the 
physical year for them okay you may see more requirements coming in the coming days yeah java has a market right uh, someone asked a question two plus years experience java back back end is in the market yeah it has a market for uh, freshest jobs is available for year gap people one year is doesn't matter for them uh, but if it has three to four years uh, i believe you need to explore the opportunity and experience line of service okay but don't worry guys uh, with this course what i believe is <clears throat> i'm also giving my experience uh, i'm trying to give my experience so uh, if you have any further questions on top of that you can also reach out to me but try to grab as much of as i am explaining here so that i believe you can crack the job with this experience what i'm saying okay cool uh, for java dev testing mandatory yeah every every dev is mandatory dev most of the applications are developed in java dev or dotnet dev or python whatnot right every development need testing it is java is not that much robustic to uh, cover up the bugs right it is a code that you know to write it if the code doesn't cover the logics yeah definitely bugs will come it doesn't matter what language it is it's been developed is this course helpful for developers also i don't think so developers can get knowledge but uh, you know they, they get knowledge how the testing will happen but uh, i don't think i mean if you want to switch the career from development to testing definitely it is very useful for you if you want to continue your career in developer but you want to uh, pursue this course i don't think so okay